Hey guys, this is Marcus Saedo with Blink Worldwide. I am one of the video directors here for the agency, and I thought I'd take a little bit of time to talk about Magic Lantern and some of the cool applications uh, we use it for. So not too long ago, I made a video about Salt Lake City, and uh, here, why don't I open it up for you guys so you can watch it, and I'll be sure to share the link below, but here it is. So that was the video. I'll be sure to send the link below so you can take a look at it if you'd like. So anyway, to start, let me talk a little bit about Magic Lantern and what it is and what it's not. So Magic Lantern is a free software add-on that you can use with your Canon DSLR. And it basically turns your camera into a monster. You have so many more options that you just normally wouldn't have natively in the camera. But what it won't do for you is it won't make you a better shooter. It is not going to solve all your problems and uh, fix your marriage. So, you know, don't treat it as a silver bullet for everything because it's clearly not. That being said, why don't I explain a little bit as to where you can go and get it. So you want to go to magiclantern.fm and you can see some of the movie functions that it has. And one of the coolest features is you're able to record 14-bit uncompressed raw video to your CF card. So if you have a 5D, you have the option to shoot uncompressed raw inside your camera. So you wanna to go to the downloads and click on download nightly builds. And then from there, you have to know which firmware you have installed in your camera. Um, in this particular instance, I believe we had the uh, 5D3.123 uh, firmware extension. But you know, you can find ones for the 60, for your 550D. Um, there's plenty of options there. So once you have it installed, you go out and want to shoot some footage, some raw footage. And you're going to see an extension titled .raw. From there you have several options. There are some software that you can download that will convert your RAW into Cinema DNG or DNG files. One of my particular favorites is RAW Magic Lite and you can get it from the App Store. Let's see, all you need to do is just drag and drop the RAW file into your editor and make sure you have the vertical stripes correction um, highlighted um, in case you're shooting a lot of dark stuff. I find that it really uh, helps with these vertical lines or bars that come up, uh, especially in the shadows and um, the darks. So, so you want to have that checked uh, before you convert and that'll definitely help with that. And from there you want to hit the convert button. And for time's sake, I've already converted the files into DNG and so we can just click here and you can see here the DNG file and it's basically a sequence as if you were shooting a time lapse. And there are two options here. You can either import it with DaVinci Resolve or you can go into After Effects and edit it with the Camera Raw Editor. In my particular case, I went with After Effects. So why don't we open up After Effects and here you go and make sure your Camera Raw sequence is checked. It should happen automatically, but just make sure that it is. So you want to open your footage and then you will have the Camera Raw Editor. And from there, this is a good glimpse of what the footage probably would have looked like if I had shot H.264. It probably wouldn't have even been that sharp just because of the compression, but I know for a fact that when I shot this, I could see the sky much better than what I can see it right here. And so you'll see that the blues here are in the whites. I mean, they're really out there. They're almost blown out. And so what I normally like doing first is just enabling my profile corrections for the lens distortion. And should already know, yes, it does, 2470, yep. And from there, you go back to basic, and why don't we just start with a highlight bar. And oh my god, look at that. I can start seeing the sky, it's amazing. Right there, look at that. So going back to zero, and back to, what, about 70? 
that's just incredible. There's a couple other settings you can do. I'll just bump up the shadows, crush my blacks just a little bit, just to give it a little punch. With the glass buildings, I really like pushing the clarity. It just adds a nice pop that I really enjoy. And you can mess with other settings here, sharpening. Let's just probably zoom in here before I start. I can bump to about, oh, I'd say about 35 or so. I don't like to go too much further than that usually. Let's go back. And yeah, that's looking really nice. And so just to add a little more detail to the sky, I like to push the blues and saturation a little bit. But to bring in the sky, I like to bring down the luminance of that sky. I'll just slide that so you can see. And yeah, that definitely is brought in the sky. And you know what? That's a good start. And so from here, I'm probably just ready to start editing this. I'm going to click OK. And the other thing you want to do is make sure that you interpret your footage correctly. So I shot this at 23976. And so it's assuming the wrong thing right here. And so I want to change this to 23.976. And you can also go inside your preferences and make sure that it always interprets 23.976. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I made sure that it assumed 30 so I could change it for you guys. And then from there, you'll just drag and drop to make a new composition. And let's just make sure we'll just hit Command K and see our composition settings. And yes, our frame rate is 23.976. And it looks like you're just about ready to go. And if you like this, then you would go ahead and render. And yeah, you don't need lossless. And so what I typically do is I will change it to 422 HQ. And that should be plenty big enough. Make sure you select the right output settings. And you're set. And you can input in Premiere or Final Cut Pro, whatever editor, nonlinear editor you like to use. Hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Be sure to write us a message if there's something that you want to see or learn more about. Or if you have any other questions about the work we do, be sure to write us a message anyway. So this was Marcus Aedo, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.